Hi Pisces, and this is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. And so hopefully something will resonate here with you, but we can look to the cards to get a sense of the energies and insights and messages from divine source or the universe for Pisces. Okay, we begin with an awareness of the week of the Four of Wands, which is a lovely card. Wands, we have Aries, Leo, excuse me, Sagittarius. We see the couple here raising their, their arms up in celebration. This is a card of celebrations, of recognition of uh, things like birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, engagements. It's a time to get together with friends, to raise a glass, to feel good, to laugh, to experience happiness and joy within the community, your community. So for some of you, it may be you're the person who's celebrating and, and maybe the party's in your honor, or you could be attending uh, an event for someone. It could be a promotional party. It could be a fall wedding. It could be really anything that brings people together and where they celebrate and where they, they recognize the good things in life. You know, these two, as they walk away from the home and go through the portal, they may be celebrating freedom and a new life together. So it's this idea of getting together to celebrate the traditional things that we recognize and pay tribute to. So with this sense of social, something social, a celebration that you may be attending. Behind the scenes, we have the Fool. And the Fool is Major Arcana. And it is the desire to start something new, to find an area of your life to bring in more joy and more wonder and more excitement, to maybe take up something that you would never have dreamed of doing so earlier within your life. And that really is taking a leap of faith. It's going outside of your normal routine. And with the fool, you, just taking barely what he needs, it's the journey that counts. It's the movement to living your life fully and completely. You may have people that are barking, saying, don't do it. You may have others that say, let's do it and I'll join you. This is really following your passions and your purest passions of what you want to do. So it's the beginning of this new journey. You may be taking the proverbial leap of faith. You may be leaving something behind and starting a new path. And if it's a result of this, you know, the fool is, it's a new journey for you. One that's going to make you feel the wonder of life, the excitement of life. In terms of guidance, so here is this idea of this new journey in life, of finding the wonder, and then judgment. We see judgment, major arcana. And when we see judgment in a reading, we focus on the gray people rising out of their coffins. They hear the horn. They're listening to the call. The angels blowing the corn to say, time is not up yet. You can still live a life that is worthy, that is indicative of your true purpose, of your higher self, of the person and the way that you want to live. That if you have felt stifled or trapped or dead, that it's never too late to change. It's never too late to have that awakening. It's never too late to be reborn to let go of what happened beforehand. You don't have to be punished for what happened. You are allowed to have a clean slate. If you can believe it and think it and dream it, you listen to the call and you take the steps to act. The judgment comes from the evaluation of your own life, of what has gone before, not punishing yourself over that, being where you are now, but really thinking about, hmm, 
you know, life is short and this is not, not perfect. I want to have more happiness. I want to find more fulfillment. And that's what judgment brings, the chance for a second chance, the chance for um, a rebirth, a reawakening, a transformation, really. So this is the excitement that you hear it, that you're willing to do what it takes to reach your highest self. So along with this judgment card in terms of guidance is the Page of Wands. And pages represent this youthful energy. So it could be a child, it could be a young person within your environment, within your family. It could be very encouraging, or it could be symbolic of your energy of this youthful desire to live, to have fun, to experience, to take journeys, to experience the, the new path and whatever goes along with it, really to feel alive. So the Page of Wands is taking action, looking for adventure, can do, being, this could, on a simple level, could be that you are going to be busy this week and you're going to have some social engagements or that you may be putting in motion the things that you want to do to change your life, whether that's researching community classes, uh, online classes, or traveling. Whatever it is that's going to open up this sense of the fool and judgment for you, So in terms of possible outcomes, wow, nice. You know, I think I, I must have read somewhere that when you see the sun card and the two of cups can result in marriage. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw that out there that for some of you, maybe this new journey is headed toward a committed relationship that brings you tremendous happiness. The sun is about joy. It's about, um, again, the carefree wonder of living a full and radiant life. You burn brightly. Let your light shine. Appreciate the abundance that you have. Appreciate the good fortune that you have with friends or family or loved ones. The red sash here or the banner, your passions, don't forget to bring your passions into your life. You know, this sense of being dead, feeling dead inside, we don't have to do that. You have the chance to turn it around. You have the chance to be reborn. This could be the chance to have love again if you've been out of the love game for a long time. If you are happily with someone, it could be deepening the bond more celebration, more respect and love for this relationship. This Two of Cups, it's about a harmonious and balanced relationship, eye to eye, toe to toe, cup to cup, where you put in equally to what you're getting. And so here's this wonderful opportunity to have a soulmate connection, to have a deep bonded relationship. For some, it may be a friendship, it may be platonic, but it's a meaningful and enriching relationship. So it's incredibly exciting to see not only the Four of Wands, the Fool, and Judgment, but the Sun and the Two of Cups together, which is happiness, happiness and love and connection in terms of your relationships all good things, the radiance and the brilliance of life, your light shining bright, your light shining bright with respect to someone else as part of a union. So nice, nice, nice. Let's see what we have in terms of uh, an affirmation for the week. The diamond dreamer, material wealth, true prosperity. So material wealth, that's a nice thing. True prosperity may come from fulfillment, fulfillment of your dreams, fulfillment of happy relationships, fulfillment of passions, 
and going down new roads that bring excitement and energy and high energy and delight into your life. Okay, so let's take a look at where you are spiritually and emotionally. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Well, simply stated, this is practical advice, which is to tune into yourself, to check in with yourself, and that uh, sometimes we get very busy putting into place all the things that we want to do. Find your center, create time for yourself, check in with yourself. And finally, let's get a card for love. Vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So, good days, bad days, you know that ultimately the world and the universe is a loving place. And despite the things that people do or say, when you can focus on love, when you can count your blessings, when you can always bring it back to the idea of love, then you know, that's a help to relationships. You're part of a bigger world. It's a bigger world of love. So this is what I have for you. I hope you found something helpful here this week with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. And I hope you have a fantastic week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.